How's it? How's it? Do you know, I, ca I can't believe it. The last time I sat here and shared a channel update with you, I had you know, 1500 subscribers. And now over the last fortnight or so, it has just gone, it's gone crazy. And there are now like 7,200 people who have subscribed to the channel. I, I really, I can't thank you enough. And I know every time I do, <laughs> do these videos, I'm like, I'm thank you, I'm thank you. But really, honestly, it is so heartwarming to see this wonderful community that is growing up around these videos that I've been creating about the thing, this shared common love that we have for photography. I get a lot of feedback and I always, I take all the feedback that I get for the channel extremely seriously. And one of the things that you guys have mentioned is that you'd like to see more contemporary photographers when we talk about great you know, photography. And of course, everybody's definition of, of great is different. Because of my background, I tend to draw the photographers that I like from, from the history books, because they're the ones that I was sort of introduced to. And, and I also like story. And, and I think this is kind of what shapes my, my videos about photographers, is, is it is hard to sometimes find a story that we can weave around a contemporary photographer, because their story's still being written. Whereas, obviously, for people like Walker Evans and Bill Brandt, and you know, and, and all those others, their story is complete. So it's easy to pick out the threads that would make a compelling and, and interesting video. But I, I will do some more contemporary photography for you very shortly. I absolutely sort of promise that. In the vein of, of looking at more contemporary photographers, it's no secret that I have not the largest library in the world because it's, it's not, it's only about 130 monographs, but I have quite a lot of photography monographs and, and a fair number of them about photographers who are still alive and still working today. And one of those who I'll be sharing with you soon is a, a Dutch photographer called Desiree Dolren, whose book um, Exteriors is not full of photographs. <laughs> He's full of these um, you know, hauntingly beautiful portraits. And I'm looking forward to sharing her work with you shortly in a, in a couple of videos. Over the last few days, again, I went on a, on a splurge and I bought oh a number of photography monographs. Again, I have I have I don't know what the book version of Gas is, but I I have that, <laughs> which is which is a thing. So I also have um, a couple of new books. So this one is The Suffering of Light by Alex Webb. Uh, and again, I, I hope it's, the lights are not bouncing off the, 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 the sleeve. See, I haven't even taken it out of its sleeve yet, which is, which is quite nice. But he's a photographer who I think his work is absolutely gorgeous, but he doesn't seem to get mentioned as much as people like Ernst Haas, um, you know, Saul Leiter, William Eggleston. For some reason, he just, yeah, he doesn't get that. Maybe it's because, you know, he's, I don't know, there's something about it, but we're, we're looking at him. So again, so bringing in more contemporary photographers into the mix. Something else that is in the works is a history of photography. I'm, I'm busy writing the scripts right now. I mentioned earlier about history is stories. You know, stories seem to be the thing that we, we gravitate towards. And, and the history of photography so often is this idea that it's all the processes you know, daguerreotype, then the ambrotype, and then the calotype, and then, a, you know, and so on and so forth. And it becomes a little bit sort of sterile and, and a bit sort of date driven. And this, this series is about looking at the, the personalities of these pioneers of photography. You know, who are they? What drives them? Why did they see the world the way that they saw it? You know, did they consider themselves to be scientists or, or artists? I think it's a fascinating thing. And I'm really looking forward to sharing this, this series with you. And, and as soon as it's, it's ready, I'm going to release it. So, so look forward to, to that coming soon. It should be within the next week or so, fingers crossed. Mentioned the idea of community earlier. And, and, and that's been a really strong thing. There's been a lot of feedback, I've, you know, getting a lot of comments. And it's great to see and read and hear people's differing opinions. And I, I think that's what makes a community exceptionally strong. And, and certainly when I first started this channel, I thought it would take, I took it, I thought, realistically, it might take a year to get possibly a thousand subscribers. And I wasn't really, it didn't, I did not expect for this community to grow as quickly as it has, which obviously means that I, I would like to devote more time to, you know, to supporting the community, to putting out content for the community. And I have already been 
putting buy me coffee links in the bottom of my videos and and a number of you have have very graciously and very kindly made donations to the channel as, as a as a thank you for me taking the time to put these these uh, videos together if you'd like to support the channel in a sort of a more if you'd like to support the channel please the buy me the coffee is is absolutely lovely or if you'd like to use patreon then please feel free to do that i have a, a page now on patreon and that's where you can get access to these videos without any ads because i know that we're not all fans of ads i certainly am not and and i support a number of patrons who create content that i enjoy watching and i would rather support them directly by going through patreon than supporting YouTube or Google or whoever, you know, supplying these adverts. If you'd like to, and I would really appreciate it if you did, again, just follow the link below. But please don't feel that you have to. I, really, I can't stress that enough. I, I do this not because I think it's an easy way to, to make money, you know, to sit here and just talk. This is not why I wanted to make this channel. I wanted to make this channel because I have enjoyed... People like Ted Forbes, Sean Tucker, and the like, when they talked about photography, the art of photography. And I know Ted Forbes went on his own journey, and that's perfectly fine for him and stuff, but I missed those videos. I missed those videos where he talked about photography, that art of photography. And I wanted to create something that I felt could help fill that void, to create the sort of videos that that I wanted to watch. And, and the fact that you are sitting here watching them, that, that 7,500 of you have subscribed, that there's been 150 odd thousand views in the last month. I mean, OMG, you know, like, like 150,000 views. Uh, it, it means so, so very much. And, and if you don't want to particularly contribute financially, that's absolutely fine. What you can do, if you'd like to show your support in, in other ways, is, is to share the videos, you know, to, to, to share them on your Facebook pages, to share them in a, in, a, in a Reddit, if you're in any subreddits, you know, or anywhere. I know a number of you have said that you are teachers and you share these videos with your classes. And, and I really, that means so, so very much to me. It's, it's my absolute belief that I want, I don't want this, this, this history, this joy, this love of photography to be lost under this, this sea of gear where the new photographers, people who are just learning the craft, they come to somewhere like YouTube to, to learn how to load a camera or how to, you know, the basics of exposure. And they see all these videos about gear and things, and they think that's what photography should be about. So the more that we can help spread this message that, that while the gear and the technical things are, of course, absolutely vital to, to, to photography, they are not the be all and end all of everything. And I want us, I want this channel and other channels like Sean Tucker's and like the early videos of, of Ted Forbes and anybody else who you can think of who has that same sort of vibe about photography to get spread far and wide. And that's why I'm not, I, I have no problem promoting Sean you know, and, and saying, go and watch his videos. He has a different take to photography than I do. And that's, but that's, that's the beauty of this thing is that we all have our different takes. That, that lady who left a comment the other day on the, on the Sally Mann video, who said that they were the most depressing photographs that she'd ever seen in her life and had no desire to ever see them again. That's great. Do you know what? It's it, fine. Or at least she is looking, at least she's exposing herself to different viewpoints and, and, and sharing different viewpoints with us. There are no rights, there are no wrongs. William Eggleston, some people think his work is pants. I like most of his work. Both viewpoints are completely valid. And this is what we need to remember about photography, especially the art of photography, is that all our viewpoints are valid. There is no right, there is no wrong. There is only how we interpret what we see. And this is the point of these videos. They're not to, to give you a doctrine. They're not to set up an orthodoxy of how you should be doing things. They are ideas about ways that you could do things. They are suggestions. They're not absolutes. There are no absolutes on this channel. Everything is open to discussion and, and debate. Okay, that wasn't actually in any of my scripts, so, so I don't know where I went off on a tangent a bit there. But that's the point, is that I love photography. I love talking about it, and that's what I missed with those channels. And this is what I hope that it brings back within, you know, the videos that I'm doing. 
there were two events that happened over the weekend that reminded me that I do a lot of these videos, especially the ones about the learning to see and the art of seeing and that sort of thing, that are actually more about me talking to me. And one of those was that I was trying to help somebody on a subreddit. Now, if you're not familiar, Reddit is like this kind of website and subreddit is various, various topic areas. And they'd ask a question about sort of developing their own style in, in photography. And I, I, I linked to my video about being free to, you know, to get away from that creative echo chamber. And because I shared that video, I got permabanned from that subreddit. I don't know why they banned me. It just said, you've been permabanned, just, you know. But I thought, okay, well, that's, that's a bit full on. So evidently somebody didn't like either the topic of the video or, or what they thought was the idea, you know, but they permabanned me. And that really went, okay, that's, wow. That's an extreme reaction to something. And it also followed on very quickly with, somebody left a comment on my photo school video where I, throughout the video I showed pictures that I'd taken during, during my photo school days, saying that for somebody who liked or seemed to know a lot about photography, that my pictures sucked, that my pictures were, were, were no good. And I thought that neatly dovetailed with the, the video where I said, you know, yes, your pictures suck. And for so long, you know, at least an afternoon, I let, that comment really get to me. It chewed away and I was like, oh my God, if he's saying it, maybe other people are saying it with me. And I forgot to take my own advice, which is to not worry about that. That there are going to be people who do not like what I make. There are people who don't like these videos. There are some people, no doubt, who don't, who probably think that I'm talking rubbish. But we need to remind ourselves from time to time that it's okay, that you know, what we create is not for everyone, it's for ourselves. I don't picture a hundred or thousand people sitting in front of me. I picture you. Because you, you, you have given up of your precious time to sit here and engage with me in, in, in a dialogue. It's, it's a bit of a one-sided dialogue, but you've chosen to spend some time with me and for that, I, I sincerely appreciate all that support that, that you give me and, and it pushes me forward every single day when I sit down I go, what shall I talk about today? What, what things would people find interesting? And there seems to be a list every day as long as my arm <laughs> just keeps on, keeps on coming. And the more that you support through watching, through commenting, through you know, saying like, it's great because we are building up this community one step at a time. And, and I really look forward to seeing what becomes of it, see, seeing where it goes and, and having you along on the journey with me. I just, it's, it means so, so very much. So thank you ever so much and I'll see you again soon.